The sailing competition continued at Marina da Gloria on day nine for the penultimate day of racing with temperatures at a cooler 19 degrees Celsius. It turned out to be a dramatic day out on the waves for all classes. In the two-person keelboat Scud 18, Daniel Fitzgibbon and Liesel Tesh of Australia began race nine with a 15-point gap over their nearest rivals, Canada, knowing a finish in the top four would almost guarantee gold. At the third marker, it was the Canadians of John McRoberts and Jackie Gay leading, with Italy and Poland in second and third position. Australia were on the prowl, and with a lap to go, the class leaders overtook Canada, whilst the Italian team of Marco Carlo Guilandris and Marta Zanetti made a costly mistake. By the final marker, Australia had earned a 30-second lead over their rivals and came home in first place for their seventh race win. Canada finished in second, keeping their silver medal hopes alive, and Italy recovered to seal third place. So, protest pending, Australia have become the first sailors to defend Paralympic gold, and even finished the day with a flourish, taking race 10. The battle for silver and bronze is closer than ever. Before race 9, it was Australia leading from the US and Canada in the three-person keelboat sonar standings, and after a tightly contested start, Greece took the advantage, reaching the third marker in front. The German crew of Klotzing, Kröker and Meinke were in second position, and Norway, who started the day fourth in the standings, were in third. Australia, the regatta leaders, were just keeping in touch with the front runners, and as the teams rounded the final mark, it was Greece who continued to dominate. Germany remained in second, and the Aussies, who were starting to move swiftly up the order, were now in third for the final leg of the race. Greece wrapped up a wonderful win, but a second for Australia ahead of Norway and a poor tenth place from the US meant the Australians had one hand on gold. In race 10, the Australian trio won an incredibly tight race, pipping Canada at the finish. Gold will surely be confirmed as theirs. In race 10 of the one-person keelboat, leader Matthew Bug of Australia was under serious pressure after a terrible 14th place in race 9. Bug and Great Britain's Helena Lucas have been going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the gold medal. The pressure was on. At the first mark, it was Germany's Heiko Kroger leading, though, followed by Spain's Arturo Montes Vossi and Australia's Bug. Germany's lead didn't last long. They were forced to take a penalty, and it was Bug of Australia who led at the final mark, ahead of France's Damien Seguin. Seguin was just ahead of Britain's Helena Lucas, the Frenchman still a contender for medals. So Matthew Bug crossed the line first ahead of Seguin for France. Germany's Heiko Kroger fought back to a well-earned third place. Britain's Lucas slipped back to finish sixth. There was more drama post-race, as Bug came ashore with a four-point lead over Lucas, only to be disqualified from race 10, demoting him to third in the standings and promoting Great Britain's Helena Lucas to the top spot. With one race left to go, who will win gold is anyone's guess.